Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we'll try to understand what is a compilation error and what is a runtime error. So let's try to understand the difference between a compilation error and a runtime error. So let's get started. So to understand, I'll be creating a new project, project 45. So file new Java project. I'll be giving the name as project 45 and click on next. I want to create module info, click on finish. I'll add a new package called my package. Right click on this SRC new package. And I'll write here my package. And I'll be adding here my class. And I'll add a main method. Click on finish. Now, normally when you do some syntax mistakes, so now we'll try to understand what is the difference between compilation error and runtime error. Now, if you try to do some syntax mistakes or coding mistakes, straight away it will display an error that's a compile time error. Now, now let's talk about that. What is a compilation error and what is a runtime error? Now, see here, I'm writing int a is equal to 5. And now I'll write here, let's take, I forget to put semicolon. Now, I'll just write here int b is equal to 10. And int c is equal to a plus b. Now, I have not kept a semicolon here, but let's complete this. SYSO control space C. Now, I'm trying to print C. I've, I missed a semicolon. Now, this is a compilation error. It's because it's a syntax error. So, all the syntax or semantic errors that, are, that your editor finds, your Eclipse editor itself will show the red line. So, those types of errors are called compilation errors. Now, when I move the mouse on this, you can see here, it's, giving, uh, it's telling syntax error. I had to put semicolon. So this is a compil compilation error. Now one more example for compilation error, simple is, now let's try to put here, I'll just put capital P here. Now your compiler is telling error here, saying like the red line. So this method is not there because it's case sensitive. So this is also a compilation error. So anything that your editor so shows as an error, so that syntax error, spelling mistakes, etc., those are compilation errors. Now one more good example for compilation error is, now let's take, I'm writing here scanner. OBJ is equal to new scanner. Now I'm not importing the package. So now again, I'm seeing the red line here. So this is also a compilation error. Now, now if I move the mouse on this, I have to import the package, otherwise I'll get an error. So this is also a compilation error, right? Now when you try to run the code, now let's say I'm trying to run the code. Now, before even the code executes, like let's take I'll click OK. Before even the code executes, it shows error exists in the required project. So before even the code getting executed, if you see some error, that's a compilation error. OK, now, now I have to click here and import the package. So now the some of the examples for compilation errors are missing semicolon and uh, trying to give some uh, spelling mistakes to the method names or not importing the packages, uh, trying to access a class. So these are all simple examples for compilation errors. Now, now let's try to understand what is the runtime error. Now, now let's say I'm writing here, I'll write here int a is equal to five and I'll write int b is equal to zero. I'll write int c is equal to a by b. I'll write sys for control space c. Now, now, the code is perfectly fine. There are no syntax errors. So the code is a equal to five, b equal to zero, c equal to a by b, and syntax-wise, everything is perfect. But now, when I try to divide with zero, it'll give an error. So now, when I run this, it will not give any errors at the, run, uh, at the compile time. Before running the code, I will not get any errors. But when I run the code, I'll see an error saying divide by zero exception. So now when I run the code now, you will see I don't get any exceptions. The code got executed. Now I'm seeing error. So this is a runtime error. So I'm trying to divide with zero and I'm, I cannot do it. So it is already executed and then I'm getting error. So that's a runtime error. So before executing the code, if you get some error, that's a compilation error. After executing the code, if you get some error, that's a runtime error. Now one more best example for runtime error could be, so let's take, I'll write here int, I'll create an array, int, a is equal to new int, or let's write int data is equal to new int of five. Now I'll try to assign data of data of four is equal to nine, and I'll try to print sys for data four. And obviously uh, array starts index from zero, and I can assign data four, and I'll get the output now. Let's run the code now, 
and I'll see the output 9. But what if I try to assign here a data 5 which is not there? So syntax wise this is perfect. So we are declaring an array, we are trying to assign the value. When, when your compiler compiles right, so it won't check, it won't substitute the index value and check it. It'll just see for the syntax or semantics errors. So we don't get any error when we compile the code now. But when you try to run the code now, so let's run the code now. So I'll just click on run. Now click OK. Now I'll get an error saying like index out of bounds error. So that's a runtime error. So, so compilation errors are categorized as syntax errors or semantic errors, which will be identified your, by your editor and which is normally identified before you run the code. Whereas runtime errors are identified or like divide by zero error or index out of range errors or any, any system crash errors, etc., which will be identified only when you run the code, right? So after you run the code, you'll get some error and that those errors are called runtime errors. And how do we handle runtime errors? We handle runtime errors using exception handling. So using a try catch block. So that's um, a very important concept. So we'll see that in the next module exception handling. So I hope you are clear with what is a compilation error and what is a runtime error. Thank you and see you in the next module.